So you want to get a sub kick, but you don't want to spend $300. I respect that. You're not one of those chumps that just goes out and spends big bucks on something that they can build themselves. No, not you. You're a person of culture. So in this video, I'll show you how to build your own sub kick microphone, as well as some mistakes to avoid along the way. Let's get to it. Learn audio engineering. Learn audio now. Sound strategies to sound goals. Sub kicks. Very simple idea. You take a large speaker and use it as a microphone to pick up extra low end information. Now a sub kicks focus is on recording low end with better clarity. And it does this because the diameter of the speaker is larger than the average microphone capsule. So these are great for adding some extra emphasis to the weight of a kick drum below 100 hertz. And the speaker is also pretty good at rejecting the bleed from the other drums. Of course, if you need to, you can also add a gate to sculpt some tight, clean bottom end for your kick drum. Now Yamaha used to sell these for like $400, but you can just make one. To begin, you'll need a speaker. Now you could use one from an old amplifier like I did, or you can buy one new from an electronics parts store or try your luck at a thrift store. Now that you've removed your speaker, the rest of the process will be quite similar to my how to make a telephone mic video. Make sure to check that out if you haven't already. To make the connection for this sub kick, we'll need a sacrificial microphone cable, preferably an XLR. And we'll need some tools, some wire strippers, a screwdriver, and a soldering iron. Locate the female end of the cable and remove the protective sheath to expose the lead wires. In an XLR cable, Pin 1 is the ground, pin 2 is the positive, and pin 3 is the negative. So use your soldering iron to remove the solder joints from each cable. When connecting the wires to the speaker, make sure to wire them with their polarity reversed. Speakers and microphones are similar but have opposite polarities. Microphones input sound to speakers output sound, so we want our speaker to be in phase with the microphone at the same distance. So we're going to plug the negative cable into the positive terminal and the positive cable into the negative terminal. Okay, so there's our working sub kick microphone. A few thoughts on this design before moving forward to the sound test. I really liked how the coil driver magnet could be used to stick to mic stands or other pieces of metal. It really makes for a pretty easy setup. However, the first time that I tried out this sub kick on some drums, it ended up giving me a lot of distortion. So I built an attenuator out of some alligator clips and resistors. Of course, you could just go out and buy a 20 dB pad for an XLR cable, but what's the fun in that? You're already not buying a name brand speaker, so you might as well commit to the aesthetic of a poorly made improvised explosive. So for this, I used a 470 ohm resistor on the positive wire, and then after that, a 100 ohm resistor bridging the negative and positive wires. I clipped all the resistors together instead of soldering them, and this made for a really easy way to quickly audition between the different cone sizes. If anyone has a better way of doing this or building an attenuator, please let me know in the comments. Before I built the attenuator, I went out and bought another speaker box from a thrift store, just in case the first one didn't work at all. So next we'll compare the sound of three different sub kick cone sizes, the four inch, six inch, and eight inch. The four inch one didn't really work at all. I got one little squeak out of it. So we're gonna move on to the six inch and the eight inch cones, which had much better results. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments what you thought of this project and if you have a suggestion of what I should do next. I've been thinking about doing a plate reverb build 
which I think could be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Remember to leave a like if it helped you out and please subscribe with notifications on for fresh weekly content. If you want to learn more about recording and microphone techniques, make sure to join my email list at learnaudioengineering.com and I'll send you a free copy of my book right now. Link to that is in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.